Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Joanne Lavelle here. I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, greetings from a lovely bright day in Cromartin in RD. First off, where am I? Uh, this property is situated about middle distance between RD on one side and Carrick Macross Tan on the other. So you're about 10 minutes on either side and you're less than five minutes to the N2 road as well. So it's a lovely quiet, it feels a little bit secluded, but in a good way because it's nice and peaceful and you have plenty of neighbors around you. So it's a lovely blend. The property itself, a fantastic four bedroom detached bungalow around about 145 square meters. So buckets of accommodation. This property has been substantially refurbished and upgraded in recent times to give a beautiful presentation. I think you're really going to like it inside. It's got very, very strong BER credentials because all of the windows and doors have been upgraded. And it's just, there's a lot of thought gone into absolutely every corner of this property. So we're going to have a look around inside and then have a look around the garden. And as usual, if you have any questions, please do let us know. And if you'd like to come and meet us here and have a closer look for yourself, then of course we will be delighted to arrange that. In the meantime, let's get started and go inside. So here we are straight away into the hallway and straight away you're going to know exactly what I mean when I see texture. On one side, and you're going to see this as a sort of a motif throughout the property, these beautiful reclaimed um, red, red uh, bricks which run through, as I say, they give the property a beautiful depth which is otherwise matched with a fantastic modern monochrome, white and deep grey, and then with these splashes of greenery around the place. I love, I love the vibe around this house. So this is the entrance hallway, and as I say, this property has been completely refurbished. We've come through a composite door here, this composite door front and back. Fantastic, fantastic, I'll give you a look at it there. Fantastic unit, and has made a tremendous difference to the, uh, the heat functioning and the energy efficiency of the house. So this is the entrance hallway. You've got this gorgeous um, gray veined white tile which runs through almost all of the property. We're going to turn around here to the right and we can get through uh, some of the bedroom accommodations straight away. So this is the first bedroom. All of these rooms effectively are double rooms, but you can see here plenty space there. There's your double bed. Uh, in fact, it's a wide plank composite floor through some of the bedrooms for an extra cozy feel underfoot. Over here to this side is a recess area. You can see here it's got your chest of drawers and television. If you wanted to, that could equally be used for uh, either freestanding or built in closets. Uh, I know closets and storage are questions that we often get, so it would be very easy to adapt to built in storage here. Again, the motif of the gorgeous, the greenery through each room, it's just really lovely looking. And whilst we're here, I'll give you a look outside. So when you're in the property looking out, it's lovely greenery all the way around you there. You could just sit and look at that all day. And thankfully the weather has greeted me today with lovely blue skies to show you. So that is the first of the bedrooms. As I say, I'll just give you a closer look. I'm really liking that wide plank floor there. Lovely feel to it. Into the next room. This room is actually being used as work from home space. So you can see there, twirl that table around. It's actually got plenty space for a double bed if you wanted to have your double bed here. But other than that, at this moment in time, it's fulfilling a very important work from home space. Now, behold those of you who love your built-in storage. Here we have it. So this is sort of, it's um, it's sliding sliding doors and uh, mirrored reflective panels on either side. And then it means that it's the rest of the room is completely available for your bed, your desks, whatever it is that you're having. We're still here at the front of the house. Um, I actually really like, they have got some lovely outsized posters and illustrations on the walls, which actually goes a long way to showing the sense of space in this home, which is really good. Next up, the third bedroom. This would be the main bedroom. There's some really smart features here. First off, to show you again, the similar motif there with the, um, the wide plank floor. You can see there, good big double bed. Looks like a five foot bed to my eye. Plenty of space on either side. As I say, great, um, great proportions in this property. Now, when I spin around here, what you're going to see is into the ensuite. I love the mono look about here. The, uh, the deep grey, fantastic shower experience likely there. You can see, if you can just see, 
bit of a rainforest shower head there, um, which is lovely, and a fantastic charcoal matte tile, which actually does really well to balance the light and also to make good use of the space. Heated towel rail there, lovely silver white chrome look. And then the other fantastic feature here, and I've got to show this to you. If, those, if anybody who's watching this is thinking about working out their built-in storage solution, check this out. So basically, there's a sort of a bifold door here, which opens up like that into a fantastic walk-in wardrobe. Now, there's great variety of space there, as you could, sorry, variety of use there. As you can see, I never like to show too much of people's wardrobes, but there is hanging space, there is uh, folding space, there's shoe space. That space has absolutely everything. I really, actually, if this was a fitted wardrobe, walk-in wardrobe competition, that space will get definitely full marks from me. So now we've had one, two, three bedrooms and an ensuite. The next room I'm going to show you along this really nicely tiled and presented um, hallway is the main bathroom. A real showstopper here. A lot of attention has gone into it. It's very consistent with the rest of the room, but it's very impressive as well in the way that it's finished out. So I'll give you a look. Um, modern take on the freestanding bath, curved top, um, claw tile foot and you see it there fantastic combination of the gray and white with the gray vein on the floor tile and really gorgeous uh, bevel subways on two of the walls and then on that wall it's a feature sort of slate piece and then here more 10 out of 10 for the bathroom you can see there really really good shower accessories and really true to theme of the property in that enclosed shower area. So, and also just to show you this, um, a very almost, um, I don't know what, what length it is, but a modern uh, heated towel rail in that um, matte charcoal as well. All right, so now next uh, bedroom is here on the right. There's somebody working at the moment, so we won't go in here. And then this is the next room, which is um, a living room, or if you needed a fifth bedroom, but to be honest with you, you've already got four fantastic rooms. So this would be a reception room or TV room. You can see here that motif that I mentioned earlier on of the reclaimed um, bricks coming into this room to really good effect. And then on either side, very cute built-in storage there, giving extra space. And it, it mirrors the theme. You can see there, it's just shallow, simple space. It mirrors the theme of the flooring so you can see we're back to that lovely wide plank floor and um, low profile situation with the media and uh, nice neat little console table there and you have um, I guess a gaming um, screen but also a TV screen above so very much a multi-purpose space here if I haven't mentioned it already I do want to point out to you the um, the window units triple glazed triple glazed units there they're absolutely fantastic there is not a sound inside. Even if there's wind outside or anything going on, you could hear a pin drop in this house. Now, you can see there that the that reclaimed uh, red block carrying through this room, which I think is really, really nicely done. In passing me there is the hot press and into this gorgeous open plan space here. It's in a sort of an L shape. I'll begin over here with the kitchen. True to style with a white painted uh, kitchen cupboard with um, a gas hob, five ring gas hob over on the left. I'm just giving you some highlights. Smart stainless steel extractor over that. And then over at the other side of the room, integrated double oven. And then the rest is freestanding, but in theme. So you've got a stainless steel um, dishwasher and stainless steel American style fridge freezer. You can see there what they've opted to do here is to put kitchen in the kitchen space and then when I turn around you're going to see what I mean by that because um, everything sort of very much has its form and its function in this house which I think is really clever. Recess down lights there do a good job with regard to lighting and then I'm going to show you there's also a lovely um, wide subway splashback tile to very good use and then another of these fantastic check this out bifold doors okay and the bifold then goes out to a utility space out there. And that is where you are plumbed for your washing machine. And if you wanted, you could stack washer and dryer there. 
So now looking through to the rest of this room, this is absolutely really nicely done. So the first part is the cozy space up beside this really gorgeous um, very contemporary um, stove, freestanding stove. It's set in against the backdrop of that um, reclaimed stone, reclaimed brick motif. And again, is it's, it's actually beautiful to look at. It's not on at the moment and still it's just gorgeous. And that room then, it's just really kind of sociable space there. In this case, uh, laid out with beautiful leather style chairs. And then you move around to the sunroom area here. Now, what we're seeing here is triple aspect um, room. There's lots of light coming in here. But again, because all the windows have been upgraded, uh, you don't need to worry about noise or about, um, about heat loss or anything like that because it's so comfortable um, in here. So really nicely done this room with uh, the full length drape, TV at the back of the room, um, lovely, um, I don't know what they're called, garden chairs here to the right, a suspended chair. And again, really helped by this uh, gray veined uh, tile running through this whole area. Really fantastic light fittings as well, actually. The whole look being very simple and very clean. We're going to go and have a look outside in the garden now in a wee second, but I just wanted to give you another look at this room from this angle. It's really good use of the space because none of the spaces interfere with each other. Uh, you, could, you could quite easily have a conversation going on in this area, uh, something else going on in this area, and then somebody else in the kitchen having the dinner on or making a cup of tea or coffee, whatever it is. And each of the spaces can work independently of each other. And that, folks, is the key to zoning, is that, you know, you can have many functions in a room without them tripping over one another. So that is this space. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's go and have a look outside. So I'm out in the patio area along the westerly, the southwesterly aspect of the property. And it's perfectly suited because um, basically the sun is going to track along here all afternoon into the evening time. So it's a really, it's a really strategically placed patio, if you like, but it's also completely private. Now, I mean, you've got a neighbor on one side and on the other side, and this garden runs lengthways between them, but you have complete privacy in this garden space. In fact, in almost the whole garden, which you can see there what I mean. So it's now uh, lunchtime and the sun is over there. So that's basically west heading over there. Okay, so um, I'll just give you a look at the house from this side. That's the sunroom that we've just been in, and that's the front where we began. But look at how much garden you have, because it's actually quite a lot of garden space. Gorgeous big lawn here. Wow, beautiful eucalyptus tree at the far corner, which now that we're outside, there's a lovely sound from that. Lovely sound of the, the wind going through the eucalyptus. Um, in the far ground there, which you can see is the septic tank or percolation unit. Um, and then running down to a hedged barrier down onto the roadway. So in fact, um, when you're in the kitchen, you have vigilance of the garden, if you like, um, but it's also kind of a nice sense of here and there. And then nicely um, uh, hedged around here before we come back out to the front of the property. There's parking for many, many cars here, if that was important to you. Um, you could probably park about six or eight cars there, to be honest with you. Um, but here we are then coming back around to the front. So that's the property, folks. It's a really impressive, really smart, clean, fresh job. It has undergone really carefully thought out uh, upgrading throughout. To me, the clinchers are the changed uh, windows and doors, uh, triple glazed windows, fantastic composite doors. Um, but overall, that beautiful theme inside, the monochrome with the splashes of natural green uh, color coming into play, which really give, give the house a fantastic depth and dimension. It's also a property where uh, that zoned area in the kitchen really works so well. Um, it's a big space. I mean, it's about 145 square meters. So there's plenty of property here. And again, nice, simple, fairly low maintenance gardens, to be fair. 
So we're about 10 minutes drive from Carrick Macross that way, about eight or 10 minutes drive from RD Town that way, and you're very close to the N2 um, RD to Carrick Macross Main Road. So you're very well connected, but a lovely sense of countryside at the same time. Not isolated by any manner or means because you have neighbours around you, but very much a nice sort of sense of your own space. So folks, thank you for joining me at this property and um, I'd hope that you found the virtual viewing to be of benefit. If you would like to have a look, then give us a call and we'll meet you here and give you a look inside and you can take a closer look for yourself. If you have any questions, as always, please do let us know and uh, we hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye bye.